Okay, in this video we want to look at the precise definition of a relation on a set. So we say that a relation on a set A, it's just a subset of A cross A. And generally we write if X comma Y, that ordered pair is in that subset of A cross A as X R Y. And here we think this is saying X is related to Y by whatever this relation is. And then if X comma Y is not in this subset, then we write X not related to Y. So in other words, we put a cross through the R. Okay, good. So now let's look at some concrete examples of this. So maybe the first example, which is familiar, familiar to everyone, is A is any set and R is equality. So what I mean here is that x comma y is in R if and only if x is equal to y. Great. And so in that case, we can write our relation as a subset of A cross A, like A comma A, where A is from capital A. Good. So further uh, into this example, if we let A equal the set 1, 2, 3, then our relation in this case is just 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2, and 3 comma 3. So in other words, elements are only related if they are equal to each other. Okay, good. So let's look at another example. So in this case, let's take A to be the set 1, 2, 3, just as we had up here, but let's have a slightly different relation. Let's say R is less than or equal to. So let's see, notice that 1 is less than or equal to 1, so what that tells us is that 1 comma 1 is an element of this subset of A cross A, which we're calling R. Um, 1 is less than or equal to 2, and so that tells us that 1 comma 2 is a subset of R. 1 is less than or equal to 3, that tells us that 1 comma 3 is in that subset R, and so on and so forth. So we could make a similar uh, argument about 2 being less than or equal to 2, and 2 being less than or equal to 3, and so on and so forth, but it's pretty easy to jump just to the set version of R. So notice R is equal to 1 comma 1, 1 comma 2, 1 comma 3, and then 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3, and then finally 3 comma 3. So we've taken like a very simple verbal way of writing down a relation and we've written it in this uh, technical setup that involves a subset of the cross product. Okay good, so I'll clean up the board and then we're going to look at uh, one more example. Okay, so the last example I want to look at starts off with our set A, which we'll let in this case be natural numbers. And then let's say our relation is R is divides. So by that I mean that um, M and N, sorry, M comma N is in R if and only if M divides N. And so what I mean by that, we can write N equals M times D for some D which is a natural number. Great. So let's look at some examples of things that are in R, in other words, things that are related to each other. And so uh, notice that 1 comma n is in R for all n because 1 divides any natural number. So let's say this is because 1 divides any natural number. We can write that natural number as itself times 1. Okay, good. And then maybe 2 divides so, sorry, 2 comma 10 is in R because 2 divides 10, and we can see that because we can write 10 as 2 times 5, and so on and so forth. Okay, good. So we can make a nice picture of what's going on in this um, relation by making a tree diagram with division going um, 
from top to bottom. So we know one divides everything, so we can put one at the top, and then one level down from that are all the prime numbers. Great, so notice one divides two, one divides three, one divides five, one divides seven, one divides 11, and so on and so forth. So there are obviously infinitely many primes, so we can't write them all down. And now two divides four, which divides eight. So all the powers of two go straight down here. And here we have three divides nine, which divides 27. So those all go straight down there. 5 divides 25, which divides um, 125, and so on and so forth. And then we can put things in the middle here. So notice 6 is divisible by 2 and 3, so it would end up um, in this spot right here. And then similarly, 15 is divisible by 3 and 5, so it, it would end up in this spot right here. So notice in this tree diagram, we could say that M and N uh, is an element of our relation R if, so if it, it's if M divides N, in other words, if M is higher in the tree than N. Um, and I guess I should say along the same branch. Good. So we know that one divides everything because we can get from one to everything else just by going down. Two divides six because we can get from two to six by going down. So that means two comma six is in our set R and so on and so forth. Okay, good. So this is a good place to stop this video.